the other issue, and what you're going to see is the geographic expansion. What we can see is from the 1960s, um, you're going to see the spread throughout the Americas. Um, and what you see is the, the, the red here means that there's a large number of cases, and you can actually see it spreading throughout all of the different countries in Latin America. And so, and this is actually not only in the Americas, but also in Southeast Asia and the Indian, Indian subcontinent. So we have a huge geographic spread. So this is the mosquito at the end of the day. But actually, it lays eggs. And, and these eggs grow, and they can actually be desiccated, and then they come back in the, with presence of water. They actually can then emerge and become the larva that you saw. So this is called the larva, and this is its siphon here, and it's breathing the air. And what you can, then it will, what it'll do is it'll grow in clean water, especially these Aedes aegypti grows in clean water. And you can see, and actually it's cool because different species actually dance differently, but then they become pupa, and the pupa, you can see, will then split open on the back of their the exoskeleton, and they will actually emerge into mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes will then land and will probe, and what you can see is now what happens to the virus as it enters the mosquito. So it's going to enter, and it's going to go into the midgut, and then it's going to start replicating, and it's actually going to go out through um, the midgut and then disseminate uh, to the other body organs, but the most important is that going to the salivary glands, because then the salivary glands will then allow this mosquito to then deliver the, the um, virus back into the next person that it bites. Okay, So that's how it works. So before we get into the immune response, we're going to need to understand a little bit about how dengue actually infects a cell. And if we can roll this video, what you'll see is um, how dengue can actually approach a particular cell. Um, this is, as we saw very nicely from Joe's lectures, uh, what the dengue virus virion looks like and the lipid bilayer underneath the proteins, the capsid, and then within uh, the capsid, the RNA genome of the, of the virus. And so this uh, virion is floating in your bloodstream and will approach a cell, um, often a, a, what we call a myeloid cell, which is a monocyte or a macrophage, a, a dendritic cell of the immune lineage, and uh, will actually attach to, this is called the cognate receptor, and um, we'll talk later about a different type of receptor called an FC receptor. And what will happen is that there'll be an interaction and this will, through what we call receptor-mediated endocytosis, uh, the, the virion will enter into to this endosome, which is a membranous vesicle. And what will happen is that uh, there are pumps that will pump in uh, protons and will lower the pH. And you can see this uh, by a gradient of pink. Uh, and as the pH is lowered, there's a movement of those envelope proteins, which actually will completely transform the conformation, which will allow it to actually fuse with the uh, endosomal membrane, fuse it with the virion membrane, and then allow the capsid and then within that the RNA genome to be delivered into the cytoplasm of the cell. And that will then establish infection. And so now in the next one, what I want to end this little this, this series with, or this lecture is, um, so this is Israel Rodriguez. And so, so I spend a lot of time in Nicaragua, and these guys get to know me. And it turns out um, that I, uh, they find out that I grew up in New York in like hip hop era, and I love dancing. And so every year they would come up with a new reggaeton, which is a, like Latino hip hop, on dengue for me. Okay, so this is my favorite, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you because it's really cool. We added subtitles. So how many of you speak Spanish or understand Spanish? Que bien, bueno. What you're going to see, nonetheless, is in English, we have subtitles that are going to tell you, and it actually tells you what to do to get rid of the mosquito. It's really cool. So, hit it, Israel. Nicaragua, el ciclo de vida de los clavitos tenemos que cortar, porque a los ocho días en pupa se convertirán, y a los once en zancuda evolucionarán. Y si no tenés cuidado, el dengue te transmitirán. Que lo está logrando. Free Boy. Eva Producciones. 
<laughs> I didn't ask for that. <laughs> I just gave him a little money to make a CD, and you know, this is what happened. So um, anyway, so you can see that it really is infectious. You know, people get the idea, and then they have all different kinds of ways that, like, I certainly didn't dream 